Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course today we are going to continue our discussion on the plant kingdom, right? Kingdom Plantae, alright? And of course, in the last episode we talked about what the uh, classification of what of the plant kingdom into what using the new system of classification into what uh, the talophytes, the bryophytes, the pteridophytes and then the, what, the spermatophytes. And I said the spermatophytes are divided into the angiosperms and the gymnosperms, okay? So, but for this class, okay, we are going to first of all talk about what the talophytes. Uh, so, talk about the talophytes to now answer questions, past questions from what? From the old three schools jam app. Like I told you, the app is all you need to succeed in your exam. And this video is sponsored by old three schools jam app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. It has all the past questions you will need for your exam. Okay, it has what some wonderful features that are designed to make you perform outstandingly well in your exam. Okay, like we have the classroom feature where you can what study according to the jam syllabus. You study each topic and then what take what test to test yourself to see that what you are cemented in that topic. All right. We also have some wonderful features like the question search feature. You can search for question by topic and the question that Jamba set under that topic will come up. For you to answer is that not interesting then we have the utm challenge is the bomb okay it's a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year okay you participate with your mates or you win amazing prizes up to 100,000 naira is shared every week plus recharge card for what for winners okay we are, apart from competing to win prizes you are getting used to our jam set that question you are getting used to jam past questions are going to use to jump questions all right jump questions and likely exam questions okay we're getting used to them and then you are building your confidence toward your exam apart from that you'll be seeing your result every week release okay so after as you participate after the challenge you see your result so if you score 200 today in the next one you score 220 in the next one you score 250 in the next one you score 270 you know you are progressing isn't it and the main jam there's no devil that will stop you from not what smashing what your score uh, smashing your jam all right so please jump on App immediately download it from Play Store. It has been displayed on the screen right now. Download it from Play Store, and then after downloading, you need to activate. As I am switching this video now, okay, activation is three thousand naira. It will definitely increase in the future. All right, so please download the app and activate now. All you need to do is to focus on passing your exam at once. It's not the price. It's not the uh, activation fee that should be your problem now. What should be your problem is that what I want to pass my exam once and for all. Okay? So focus on passing your exam. After downloading the app, click on activate. As you click on activate, if you look up, you see buy activation key. Click on buy activation key. You will see three options for activating your app. You can use your ATM card to pay online. That one will activate your app automatically okay or you can transfer to the o3 schools app account you can make the transfer yourself your parents can make the transfer for you you can go to pos and make the payment the account number is there so just make the payment and then send the, send the receipt the receipt of the payment send it to 0912151524 Four six on WhatsApp. Okay, just send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp. All right. As you send it, an agent will apply, will attend to you immediately. All right. So please uh, be patient through this process, but you will definitely get activated once you pay. All right. So that is that. So now let's go back to why we are here. Okay. Uh, let's go back to why we are here. All right. So we're talking about non-vascular plant. That is what the talophytes. I will say that the talophytes. But the algae are simple aquatic land what plants okay for example like the spirogyra which is a fresh green uh, uh flowing what uh plant okay that lives in what in fresh water habitats okay like what well, like 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 lakes okay like, like ponds okay so they are what they are simple aquatic what land what plants all right some of the characteristics of talophytes include like one we see they possess thread like structures we want one we call what filamentous. If I'll be following all our teachings, we want to talk about filamentous, filamentous, all right? So they are thread-like or structures. Okay, so they possess thread-like or filamentous structures or flat talus bodies, or flat bodies. The one we call what talus. Talus is like it's a plant-like vegetative or body. It's a plant-like vegetative or body uh, or vegetative or plant. A plant life is the body that what that lacks what distinct what parts okay that cannot be differentiated into what distinct part like maybe having the stem having what the leaves and what it does not have true roots it does not have what true roots all right uh, so that is what talus so they possess thread like filamentous what uh, uh, bodies called talus that do not have true roots stems and leaves 
Okay, like I was saying here, they say a talus is a plant body that is not differentiated into what stem and leaves and lack of true roots and a vascular system because, of course, they are non vascular, so there's no way it will have a vascular what system like what the xylem and phloem for the transportation of what minerals and water. Okay, so that is what that. So they possess tread tre like filamentous or flat bodies, well, cut that that do not have true root stems and leaves. All right. So then number two, say, <coughs> sorry, they possess cellular cell walls around their cells. So we must know that what that plants, that, that, that what the word, that, that the vascular plants like the talophytes have what cellular cell walls around what their cells. Then, of course, they range in size from the microscopic unicellular forms. So they range in size. All right, from the microscopic or unicellular forms, e.g., clamadomonas, as you can see here, clamadomonas. Okay, it's a unicellular form of what of talophytes. Okay, they range in size from the microscopic unicellular forms, e.g., clamadomonas, C H L A M Y D O M O N A S. <coughs> okay, clamadomonas to colonial forms, e.g., the volvox. Okay, the volvox. And then to the filamentous form, e.g., what the eulotrix. Okay, you know that talophyte can be divided into three types of algae. We have what the green algae, we have the brown algae, we also have what the uh, the red algae. Okay, so we're going to was look at talk about it after the end of what this discussion. So they may show alternation of generation also. Okay, so. Originally, using the old system of classification, or I usually what talophytes are usually included what the algae and fungi. Okay, when we're using the when we're using the old system of classification, we classify what algae and fungi of sort as talophytes. But of course, you know rather you know now that what fungi has its own kingdom. It's a kingdom on its own now. All right, so that's why we do not what add what fungi what to it. So algae is just what on its own. All right, so now. Know that what also that uh, that the talophyte can be uh, subdivided into what into what three okay like I said uh, uh, the algae can we have the green algae the green algae taking this off those of you that want the notes please just take the, uh, the video back and you will have the notes all right it's just to make you have something to revise with all right so um, now we, uh, talophytes are. are uh, classified into what three you have the green algae okay and examples of what the green algae included what the what eulotrix okay you have the spirogyra then you have the ulva okay so these are what the green algae okay green algae eulotrix spirogyra and the ulva they also have the red algae we have what the batra well, the, the poly siphonia. Okay, so we have what uh, the green algae, which is eulotrix, spirogyra, and ulva. Then we have the red algae, batra, polysiphonia. Then we also have the brown algae. Brown algae. We have the laminaria. Then we have what uh, the sargassum. Okay, so these are what uh, the classification of what. Of the what of uh, talophytes, okay. That is the algae. So, okay, we have the green algae, the yellow trees, the spirogyra is a green algae, it's a green algae, it's a green algae. All right, so uh, the green algae, you have what yellow trees, we have spirogyra, we have all that. They have a red algae, batra, and polysiphonia. Then we have all the brown algae, laminaria, and sargassum. Okay, so these are what the uh, classification of what of the talophytes. That is what of the what of the algae. Okay, now what we are going to do is what go to the past question, take questions on that what the talophytes, all right, and then what you can go on your own, go to the app, look for other questions and what and answer them using the question search future. All right. So now let us take let us let us get to the app. I have my app right here. I have my app right here. So uh, I'm giving a question. Uh, a, a typical. Okay, this is a 2016 question number 31. It has been displayed on your screen right now. They said, a typical example of a tylophyta is a typical example of a tylophyta is A, the same moss, B, spirogyra, C, liverwort, 
D, fen. Okay, so of course, these are all talophytes. Green agate, red agate, brown agate, they are all talophytes. So, which of the which of the, which of the option would be most correct now? Of course, that would be what spirogyra. All right, spirogyra is is a what is a talophyte. Okay, it's a green agate. It's a green agate. All right, now let's see 2022 question number 30. So, which of the following says exist as filament? Okay, exist as what as filament? They say a. Volvox, B, Amoeba, C, Spirogyra, D, Paramecium. Okay, and of course, the answer there also will be what will be Spirogyra, right? Because, like we said, Spirogyra, they are what they are free flowing, they are free what flowing green what uh, green what plants that what live in fresh water with habitat. Okay, like the ponds and the what and the lakes. Okay, and then we also said that what that they are also called what pond silk. We call them pond silk. That is spiral We call them pond silk or we call them what? Water silk. Okay? They are called pond silk or water silk. Okay, so they live in what? In fresh, free, they are free flowing green, what? Aquatic, what? Plants that was that live in fresh water habitats. We call them what? Pond silk or, or water silk. And of course, they are filamentous. They are filamentous. They are filamentous and have what you call unbranched, unbranched, sorry, unbranched vegetative, vegetative structure. Okay, so that's just those are what the spiral giras. We say that what they are filamentous and they have what unbranched what vegetative structure. Know that there are over 400 species of, of, of spiral giras in the world. Over 400 species of spiral giras in the world. Okay, so now the question here is telling us the same. Which of the following exists as a filament? Okay, and of course, pyrogyra exists as what well, as a filament. All right, it's a, it is filamentous. It is filamentous. Okay, so now. Let's go to another question. It's a 2022 question, uh, model four. Okay, uh, version uh, question eight, 2022 number eight. They say dash is an unbranched green filamentous algae consisting of a chain of cylindrical cells. Dash is an unbranched green filamentous algae. Okay, and of course the answer there also will be spirogyra C. A they say paramecium. B amoeba. C uh, spirogyra. D Pandorina. Okay, our answer there will be what will be spirogyra. It's what it is. Uh, it's an unbranched green filamentous what agate consisting of a chain of a cylindrical what cells. That is uh, our correct answer there. So this is where I'm going to what to to stop today. Okay, so in the next class I'm going to take the other non-vascular system, which is the bryophytes. Okay, and I'd love to see you in that episode. Thanks for watching.